and I want to pay the price for you because I love you that much. I don't want you to have to pay the price. I want you to be able to walk through while I suffer and I struggle. And that's what Yeshua did. Have you ever read the New Testament? No. Have you ever thought of reading the New Testament? No, but maybe now. I was unconscious in the ocean as well for like uh, one minute. Well, you got hit with the board? Yeah, in Sydney. Oh my god. No, not in Sydney, in, in yeah. Great Ocean Road. Okay, so this is a good lead into our conversation. You almost died. Yeah. What do you think happens when you die? Where do you go? Uh, I believe that the body stays inside the, in the ocean or whatever, or in the ground, okay. and probably the soul goes to the next next step. Like yeah. The, the cycle keeps going. Okay. So where do you think your soul's gonna go? I don't know. I'm still working on it, depending yeah. on how we, if I will be a good person or not. Like what's going, what 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 will be in the next few years? So, yeah. Uh, and and what makes it's it? It's up to how you behave to your uh, friends, and neighbors, and. Yeah. Yeah. And and uh, what what do you think makes a good person? Someone that doesn't think only about himself and mm. trying to be better for other people and That's trying nice. to sometimes do things that are not serving his own interest. Yeah. Um, yeah. So so I'm a father. A father? Yeah. yeah. I don't think that it's something good because I think I did it for myself and for my partner. And and you know you you think about yourself. You want someone that will look like you and keep it going. People think that they are the best because they are a parent, but you just, you're just taking care of yourself. So I have a lot of respect for people that decide not to be a parent. Mm. I just speak about it because I just had a conversation about it with my friend this morning. So. Wow. Interesting. Because he decided not to bring children. Yeah. Not everybody's born for that. Totally respect that. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I get a lot of joy and satisfaction for my kids. I have two Me kids. Too. And I think that this is something that I did Eventually, 99% for myself. Yeah, do you know that my children, though, made me into a different person? Same. Less selfish. Same. More giving and sacrificial. So you became a better person. I became a better person, but but better in whose eyes? And who, who yeah. decides what's good, you know, or better? Yeah. Like, like I, you know, I believe in God. Do you believe in God? I believe in something. Okay. Is this something... I, I definitely don't think that God judges us by if we keep Shabbat or doing things like that. Yeah. I, I believe that he will judge me if I go to the beach now and if someone takes the way from me, I will not say, oh, blah, 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 blah. I will just say, okay, good vibes. I will take the second one. I will take the next one. Yeah. Whereas some people come and they just fight with each other. Yeah. Have you ever heard of Jesus? Yes, I have. Yeah. Do you know what kind of things he taught? No, I'm not familiar too much with Jesus. He taught either. about sacrifice, ultimate sacrifice. He says, there's no greater love than giving your life for your friend, sacrificing your life for your friend. And when you, when you look at your children and when you look at someone out there in the ocean and you sacrifice what you want for their good, that's a great message. But not only that, he came to teach us how we can reconnect with the God that made us. Like some people think of like it's an energy, a thing, but this thing has to be extremely intelligent. Metachnet, programmer, designer. He has to be able to- something about product, about implementation as well, so. Yeah. yeah, and how to keep it going. Yeah. You know, we, we make things, human beings make things. We don't create things out of nothing. We make things, but we have to keep them going or else what do they do? They die. Yeah. Our children, we have to keep them going or else they'll die. I, told, I asked my son the other day, I said, what would, I, what would you do if I let you eat everything you want? He said, I would eat only candy, chocolate, chips, and cake. I said, basically, you'd kill yourself. He's like, that's what I would eat. And so I told him, I said, it's my responsibility against your will, what you want to protect you. And, and by God sending Yeshua, sending Jesus to earth, he's saying, I love you so much that I want to protect you from yourself. And I want to take the punishment that you deserve because of your behavior and your thoughts and your evil intentions towards other people and your sin against me. And I want to pay the price for you because I love you that much. I don't want you to have to pay the price. I want you to be able to walk through while I suffer and I struggle. And that's what Yeshua did. Have you ever read the New Testament? No. Have you ever thought of reading the New Testament? No, but maybe now. Because you're a spiritual guy. And it's it's the it's the best selling book of all time. The 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 the, the, the Bible, the Bible, best selling book of all time for some reason, right? Yeah. So, would you prefer one in English or Hebrew? I can give it to you. I, mean, I can I can read both. Maybe in English. Yeah, yeah. I have one in English. Right here. Yeah. Surprise, you have one in your. Uh, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> well, th this is what I want to do. I want I want to introduce you to Jesus, 
because he died to make sure that we could be reconnected with God and by putting our faith and trust in him, because we're seekers, we, 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 we look for truth and it seems like you're a seeker as well. You're searching for the truth. It's something I want to know. I want to know. I wanted to know. For me, it's more about uh, being interested. Sorry, I'm looking at the waves. Go for uh, it. Being interested in educate myself and yeah. learn more, not necessarily about belief. Yeah. I went through the Book of Mormons a few times yeah. when I lived in Australia just to see because I right. get attracted to those things just to read. Yeah. But eventually, yeah. I mean, I'm open to read. Yeah. What's your name? Itai. Itai. Yeah. Jeff. Was a king in the Bible. Yeah. Itai was king. I'm a seeker also. And I ended up depressed, anxious, frustrated, fearful, suicidal. My colleague here was on the streets, drugs, prostitution. Wow. I mean, and when we finally said that I, I give up, I, I, I can't. This is what saved you from that situation. Not, not myself, but, yeah, Ye yeah. but Yeshua saved us and, and gave us new life, created in us new desires, made us family men, less selfish. But not only that, reconnected us with God in heaven, our creator. Wow. And because we realized that and we put our faith in Yeshua and his atoning sacrifice, that our sins are forgiven and we have freedom to be able to sit and have a relationship with God without having to rely on my own power and goodness. Because yeah. I can't do it on my own. I agree. You, you told me you're already, you're, we're selfish. Yeah. We're selfish. So how do we become less selfish? We put on Jesus, the most unselfish person in the I will argue about the last sentence, but I'm happy to, like I said, I'm happy yeah. always to listen to other opinions. And I'm and happy to hear about your arguments too. Well, it definitely did something good because there are pretty good waves. <laughs> so I'm going to catch them now. So but take I'm going, this. I promise you I'm going to read that. Yes, and if, and if you want to... Otherwise, uh, I improve my English, so that's good. Itai? Worst case. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, God bless Have you. Have fun, guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.